Hello, my name is Peter Jacobsy. In this video abstract I will tell you about the research on the manipulation of graphene nanoribbons, conducted by Joost van der Litt, Ingmar Swart, Daniel van Makelberg and me in the group of Condensed Matter and Interfaces of Utrecht University. Graphene nanoribbons are narrow stripes of graphene. They share many favorable conductance properties with their parent material, but additionally feature a non-zero band gap. This makes them promising materials for use in nanoelectronics. However, when these ribbons are integrated into circuits, they will undoubtedly experience various kinds of strain. We wanted to find out how ribbons react to bending strain and how resilient their electronic structure is. Therefore, we have used the tip of a scanning tunneling microscope to controllably bend and buckle nanoribbons. Here you can see a model of a graphene nanoribbon together with a non-contact AFM image that we obtained experimentally. The ribbons that we use for the experiments are 7 atoms wide and have armchair edges. These are grown on a gold 111 surface using a recently established bottom-up technique. We zoom in on a single ribbon and initiate the experiment. After scanning we disable the STM feedback loop and position the tip next to the ribbon. Then we physically push the ribbon. In some experiments, we then push the tip into the surface to leave behind an atom or cluster of atoms that hold the ribbon in place. We can then push against this cluster to force the ribbon in a more strongly curved position. We can also zoom in on the end of the nano ribbon and pin it to the surface by giving a voltage pulse. When wiping away the cluster of atoms, the ribbon is seen in its bent and pinned configuration. We have conducted these bending experiments many times. Sometimes we find nanoribbons with double hydrogen termination and two inelastic tunneling steps are necessary to pin it to the surface. For ribbons that have not been pinned, we measured the density of states using scanning tunneling spectroscopy. We have fitted spectra for valence and conductance band positions, for various curvatures and various ribbons. However, we could not obtain a clear trend and conclude that the band gap of graphene nanoribbons is relatively insensitive towards bending. We also examined the electronic structure of the ribbons by a zero-dimensional tight binding model and obtained bands of quasi-one-dimensional particle in a box states. We probed and calculated the local density of states and find a good agreement. In addition, we decided to look deeper into the mechanism of bending and conducted experiments with many manipulation steps. After bending a ribbon past the curvature of 2 degrees per nanometer, its inside starts to lift from the surface. We can push the ribbon back from this buckled conformation and show that no damage has been done. Then we have used the aforementioned pinning technique on the entire nano ribbon to remove almost all hydrogen atoms on the edge. The ribbon now completely bonds to the gold surface, buckling to a cylindrical shape. We have therefore effectively created a semi-carbon nanotube. 